The opening scene features a young woman named Kim Ah Young, who lives in a low-rent apartment with her younger sister, Donby. The two became orphans when their parents passed away several years ago in a fatal crash. Ah Young, who is only 23 years old, is responsible for taking care of herself, as well as her 8-year-old sister. However, things are not so simple. Because she lacks a bachelor's degree, Ah Young only works part-time at a coffee shop. She is unable to pay the apartment's rent on time due to the financial crisis, and it is already past due. As a result, the siblings are evicted by the landlord, who gives them only a week to pay the rent, or else they must move out. The next day on her way to work, Ah Young comes across Donby in a park. When she sees the little girl fighting with her friends, she approaches them to inquire about the matter. It turns out that Donby's friends are mocking her for not having a father. As expected, this enrages Ah Young, and she yells at the children, scaring them away. Later at work, Ah Young confides in her male best friend, Yoon Joo Ho, about her ongoing problems. Hearing this, he offers to let them stay at his place for free, but Ah Young politely declines because she does not want him to bother her. Meanwhile, we see Don B, who plasters herself against a restaurant window, watching a family eat their meal happily. She is particularly fascinated with how the father treats his daughter. A few moments later, the restaurant owner walks out and scolds her for upsetting the customers. At the same time, a sharp-dressed handsome man named Sul Yu Song appears and defends Donby. He introduces himself as the kid's uncle and treats her to a delicious lunch. After finishing the meal, Donby explains to Yu Song that she stared inside the restaurant not because of the food, but because she was envious of the little girl. She then reveals that she is an orphan who desperately wishes to have a father by her side. Hearing this, Yu Song becomes emotional. The next day at work, Yu Song and his secretary approach Ah Young and offer her a deal to adopt the two sisters. Being the CEO of a large company, Yu Song is willing to pay for all their expenses and support them if they agree to be his daughters. In addition, he hands Ah Young the agreement letter and gives her a month to think about the offer. Ah Young is perplexed as to why someone would offer such a deal. It's revealed that Yu Song's grandmother, who was the chairman of their family business, passed away recently. And as per family tradition, the company must be passed down to a female heir. As Yu Song is not married and doesn't have a daughter, the company is willing to transfer its common stock to the closest relative who does have a daughter. However, the will does not specify that the daughter must be a biological offspring, so Yu Song is considering adopting a girl. In the evening, Ah Young discusses the agreement with Ju Ho, who is equally surprised to learn that a random person wants to financially support the two sisters. He doesn't trust Yu Song as he is a complete stranger to them, so he advises her to reject the offer. Regardless, Ah Young has little choice other than to accept it because she is in serious financial trouble. In the next scene, Ah Young seems to have made the decision as she is seen moving into Yu Song's place with Donby. However, living together does not appear to be easy for them. For the first few days, Ah Young and Yu Song have trouble getting along, so one evening, while Donby is away, they try to iron out their differences. They establish several rules, such as not touching each other's belongings, not interfering with each other's lifestyle, and prohibiting excessive noise. In the process of getting to know each other, we learn that both Ah Young and Yu Song are terrified of bugs. When they see a moth, the two have to summon all their courage just to take it out. After trying for a while, they somehow manage to kill it, but they end up falling onto the bed with Yu Song above her, creating an awkward situation for both of them. One day, Ah Young is drying her clothes when Yu Song's uncle arrives. He is taken aback to see a woman with Yu Song, so he wastes no time asking if she is his girlfriend. Yu Song, who doesn't want the public to know about his relationship with the two sisters, lies that Ah Young is his maid who works at his house. Following this, Yu Song feels bad and apologizes to her for calling her a housemaid. Even though she is hurt, she doesn't let it show and tells him that she is fine. The next day, Ah Young meets Ju Ho at a restaurant and admits that she and her sister are already living at Yu Song's place. Hearing this, Ju Ho becomes annoyed, but he is powerless to intervene. She claims she is only thinking of her little sister, who desperately wanted a father figure. One day, Ah Young is at work when two women arrive and complain about Don Bi hitting their children on a field trip. Before she has a chance to respond, the woman insults her, claiming that they are rude because they do not have parents. Ju Ho asks the women to leave, threatening to call the police, but they seem to be unaffected by this. A few moments later, Yu Song shows up and introduces himself as Don Bi and Ah Young's guardian. He also informs the women that he has CCTV footage that says their kids were the ones who instigated the fight. After hearing this, the women appear to be nervous, so they quickly leave after apologizing. Ah Young is happy to have his support and wonders why her heart trembles every time he shows up in front of her. Later that night, she returns home and expresses her gratitude to Yu Song for defending her from the obnoxious women. As the days pass, the relationship between Ah Young and Yu Song becomes deeper. One day, they go to visit a place together and have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation. 
During this, Ah Young asks why he brought her there, and Yoo Song cheesily replies that he wants to be with her. This makes Ah Young realize that her heart has been pounding because she is falling in love with him. Yoo Song goes on to tell her about himself, saying that he used to not listen to others and that he was always on the verge of losing everything. Since he grew up without parents, he always needed to be on the edge. However, his late grandmother helped him to become a strong man while also loving him unconditionally. After listening to his story, Ah Young can feel his soft heart inside his tough personality. Meanwhile, unbeknownst to the two, someone is secretly photographing them from afar. Not only in that place, but the person also follows them to their house and takes pictures of them with Donby, who appears to be very happy. One day, Ah Young gets ready to attend a friend's wedding by wearing a lovely dress. Yu Song is taken aback when he sees her in that dress. She then attends the wedding, and as she walks home, she is accompanied by Ju Ho. On their way, Ah Young has difficulty walking in her heels. When her best friend notices this, he pulls a pair of light slippers from his bag and offers them to her. Ju Ho's action and concern for Ah Young indicate that he has feelings for her, but he never expresses them in front of her. Not long after, Ah Young gets a notification on her phone, and upon checking it, she is shocked to learn that an article about herself and Yu Song has gone viral on social media. This makes her feel guilty because the whole scandal will undoubtedly harm Yu Song's company. On the other hand, Ju Ho is concerned about the safety of the sisters because they will now come under constant scrutiny. He tries to cheer Ah Young up by saying that it's not her fault. In the midst of all of this, she receives several phone calls from Yu Song, but she lacks the courage to face him at this time. A short while later, Yu Song manages to locate Ah Young and seems concerned about her condition. But before he can say anything, Ju Ho intervenes and tells him to stay away from her. He also claims that he will be protecting Ah Young and Donby from now on. In the heat of the moment, he also reveals that he likes Ah Young, shocking her. Not wanting to lose her, Yu Song then expresses that he wants to cancel their contract as father and daughter because he wants her to be his life partner. Upon saying this, he asks her to think about it properly before walking away from there. Following this, a confused Ah Young asks Ju Ho about what he is feeling. The latter admits that he has been in love with her for seven years, but he did not have the courage to tell her. Ah Young looks pensive when she hears this because she had no idea about his feelings for her. She states that she regards him as a special person whom she can always rely on. However, Ah Young cannot be with him because she loves someone else. While saying this, she feels bad for Ju Ho because he has been so good to her all this time. However, she also believes that telling the truth is much better rather than holding on to false hope. After learning this, Ju Ho is heartbroken, but he still encourages her to follow her heart. Ah Young then rushes over to Yu Song, who is overjoyed to see her come back. He admits that the moment he saw her, his heart began to flutter. Initially, he was afraid of changing himself, but he is glad to do so for her now. Hearing this, she unexpectedly kisses him, finally starting their relationship. Ah Young also says that she is willing to wait for him until he resolves the issues that involve their relationship and the negative impact on the company. As a result, the two of them decide to separate until everything settles back to normal. A month passes and Ah Young has returned to her regular life, working part-time at a coffee shop. On the other hand, Yu Song bravely confronts his uncle with the truth about his relationship with Ah Young. In the following scene, we see Don be arguing with her friends who still mock her for not having her father. But this time, Yu Song shows up and introduces himself as her father. He also tells Don B about a bougie camp with a pool, making her friends envious. In the end, Yu Song finally returns to Ah Young and is overjoyed to see her. He gives her a card stating that he is looking for someone special to spend the rest of his life with. The show ends as the two hug each other affectionately, promising to stay by each other's side forever.